Morning everyone. It's like a school teacher, don't I? Good morning class. <laughs> right, today, right, I've got a roll of old wallpaper. And it's just like that. And I'm going to show you how to do the brick effect Firefox anti comment. The kids will love it and look. Hopefully the image of my head matches the image what's going to end up. I'm going to do this for the kids coming in. Get it all magical for Santi. So I've got an old Chinese box. Take away a box. I've got an art sponge. I've got some brown. An orange. And a red. And I'm just going to pour some in here until I get my brick colour that I want. I've got a brush, I've cut some paper, so now I'm going to mix my paint up. There's no rules, just do it. Whatever colour, brick colour, yike. So I've got this concoction here, so I'm just going to mix it up. And that'll probably just go wrong, but that's fine. I'm just going to mix it up till I get this bricky colour. I think it's going to be a bit... Oh, I don't know. Maybe. That might be a bit dark. <laughs> My camera skills are not very good, are they? Right. In. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. Instead of putting more orange, I'll put more red in. So I'm just going to lift that one away like that and then line it up so you can see as it, as it goes. Yay! Can you see? Right, I'm going to do a few more. Come back. So I've done the second row. It's looking better than I thought it would. My husband is a bricklayer, so... <laughs> I'm a better bricklayer than him, eh? Right, so look. What I've done is... Left a gap, if you can see that. So it looks like it's a proper row of bricks. Or oh, that effect. And what I've done is... I haven't put the brush... I haven't put the sponge in the paint. I've brushed the paint on it. So it's not all pluggy. Hey, and there it is so far. Not canny good. Oh, don't do what I've done. I've picked it up to move it. And look, it's ran. There. Oh, I know it's by no way means perfect. I'm not a pointer. But it looks alright. I'm going to cut another length off. And repeat the process. And then hopefully that should be enough to do around my fire. So while I'm drying, I'm going to do some jobs and then come back to it. So there's the boring before fire. Not very Christmassy at all. So these are now dry. I did have an idea of putting them on with wallpaper based. But then after I thought about it, I thought, oh my God, it'll be a nightmare to get off. So I'm just going to stick them on with sellotape. So I'm just going to stick them on and see what happens. Oh, I also sent off for a free sample of wallpaper. And this just arrived. Good timing, eh? And it's quite a big piece. They normally come like an A4. So this is a bit bigger than an A4. So I might put that inside the black bit. I might. Oh see how it goes as I go along. Just giving you an update of what it looks like. Now I've started clagging some on. I think I'm just going to do that bottom bit where the black is and then leave that white. I think I might change my mind. Let's go. <laughs> this is a nightmare. Whose bloody bright idea was this? I've got my Stanley knife out and my sellotape. It's been a bit of a nightmare. But I'm getting there. You'll still be able to see 
like patches, but I can like hide them with Christmas decorations. Just gonna show you. It doesn't look too bad, I suppose. Don't you fucking hate it when you can't find the end of the bastard cellar tape? What do you think? Well, time to put some Christmas ornaments, like your Santies and your stuff on. Mm, I'm not sure about the piece in the middle. Do, 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 that piece. What do you think? Let us know. Right, so that's about it finished. That's it. Happy crafting!